the people of Ryloth are under siege. Still, it's been like 20 episodes and nobody's dealt with this, but Anakin and Ahsoka are determined to break through the blockade. We watched Storm Over Ryloth for our Clone Wars chronological rewatch, and now it's time to break it all down. Ahsoka leads a disastrous attack against the Trade Federation ships over Ryloth, and the Republic is forced to retreat. Her confidence is shaken, but Anakin reassures her, and together they wage a crazy counterattack. Anakin smashes one of the Republic Star Destroyers into the Trade Federation battleship, and Ahsoka picks off the rest, allowing Obi-Wan and Mace Windu to begin their ground assault. The theme of this episode is, it is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness, and that's kind of similar to some of the other previous messages we've heard, but basically it's saying that it's worth it to struggle through failure and work through it in order to achieve your goals. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of an another theme that's constantly presented throughout Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, again, Clone Wars and all of Star Wars is targeted, as George Lucas said, first and foremost at, uh, I would say, early teenagers or even younger who are probably experiencing their first failures. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little encouragement saying that, hey, even Ahsoka fails sometimes. Like, this is her very first command, and it's disastrous. <laughs> she she gets a bunch of clones killed. Uh, she even endangers the lives of her friends like Admiral Yularen. Yeah. She doesn't feel good. Yeah, I mean, Yularen is the Admiral of the Resolute, and so injuring him, she just is kind of broken up about it. Yeah, I think that's probably the injury, or it's not a loss completely, but like that really breaks her up. And she's like by his side holding his hand. And it's a good moment at the end where he is there for her. Like mm -hmm. he, he comes back to the bridge to be there while she and Anakin are doing this insane plan. Uh, which, by the way, this is one of those things where like we're rewatching this. And recently the book Thrawn Alliances mentioned this episode. And uh, I thought that was a cool little connection. Yeah, it's interesting watching some of these episodes after watching the newer movies like The Last Jedi because Yoda in The Last Jedi talks about failure being the best and biggest teacher. Yeah, this is just an earlier iteration of that same message. But yeah, one of the biggest themes of The Last Jedi is definitely failure. Mm -hmm. And this is just kind of that story condensed and put into animation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, pretty interesting to see those through lines between the shows the new books the new movies all that yeah and anakin reassures ahsoka like hey i've messed up a lot too you know it's it's a process yeah before wrapping up let's go over some of the random trivia from the episode the rippling circular trade federation view screen from episode one makes its first animated appearance in this episode the pink astromech r2kt can be seen in the resolute hangar bay Ahsoka uses the Marg Sable, a maneuver used by Grand Admiral Thrawn and heir to the Empire, in the final battle of this episode. Anakin mentions the maneuver to Thrawn in the book Thrawn Alliances, and the Chiss is impressed by it, suggesting that Ahsoka inspired his future use. You can also find some of those facts on StarWars.com's episode guides, and they're currently doing a chronological rewatch on their website as well if you want to check that out. I'll put a link in the description of all the episodes listed out chronologically, but that's it for today. Next week, we'll cover Season 1, Episode 20, Innocence of Ryloth, if you want to watch along. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.